So, after buying the page builder I presented you, I will give you an access of, um, which requires your email address and I will provide the password. You can change the password after uh, on the first login, login. So, when you log into the page builder, you will see something like this. Or you will see this window here. So, create funnel. So, for the for beginners, funnel is just uh, a sequence of pages. So, you must understand that each page can have its own goal. Example, it may it may just to warm to warm your customer, or it may you may you may want to capture his his um, contact information such as email address and name, and etc. And Maybe later on, maybe the last part of the panel is to really convert him, him or her into a, a, a customer. So a successful sale is the final goal. So, so from f that, so that is the basic um, description of a funnel. So in general, it is a sequence of pages. So when you click this create funnel. So you will you'll be seeing different options here, but this this is not really that relevant because it will just provide you templates or templates for pages. So you can pick any any option actually because this is not relevant and when you are still um, trying to understand the software. So uh, let's for this in this case we'll just select sales panel. I will click next. Then I will name this funnel. Maybe I want to name this funnel with the name of the business that I want. So maybe if I'm promoting a flower shop business, maybe my J store. J store. Um, J store. Maybe this. Maybe about. Maybe about cookies. So I will I will create a subdomain. So this page builder you can you can you can have your own subdomain but the main domain is zcart.com so this all the subdomains under zcart.com will be hosted by the by the tool itself or by the provider which is the mintware 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 company so so this is the this is the part where you can um create your own um create your own name maybe a name that is relevant to your actual business name so we will try maybe j store j s so let's say j s goodies let's see so when this portion here the next button when this next button here um changes to clear blue it means this subdomain is available so when it is available, we can proceed. If it is not, you have to change it. You have to modify it a little bit, you know, so that it will, so that you can find something that is available. So, as you, as you can, if you can remember, we selected sales funnel. Sales funnel has has given us this format templates for pages. So these are just blank templates. So we have to, we can just delete this to make the to make our to make things simpler now we have we will keep this first page here but we have we will mod modify some things some things here so let's click page setting so by page setting maybe we want this the home page we will name this page particular page as home page and then we will maybe let's Let's name it with the slug. Let's name this um, this part of the slug homepage, so that this 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 random um, code here will be replaced by our slug homepage. Then it becomes more readable and easy to be remembered. So if you click this one, it will not. It will still show up an error because we have not yet 
uh, created a content for this page. So no coding has yet been provided to this page. So we had we just have name it. So we will pick this one. We'll proceed and then click edit. So remember, there's a drop down button here. This is how you can access this edit um, panel here. After clicking the edit, it will open up a a window for the builder builder window. So there are two options here. We can start with sections which uh, these are templates or block templates provided by Mintweb. So if you can see, there are group. There are different groups here. If you click footers, then you will have you can select different uh, different we have some blocks here you can select and also if you videos then there are also you will be provided by templates which includes video video element so in this case we will skip we will skip this part here because we will we want to make things from the scratch so escape so choose a template let's click this one and then blank template so after clicking blank template may we have to wait for a few seconds because it is loading up so then it will confirm success template has been selected so we'll, let's wait for a few more seconds now here is a blank template if we click save here and then refresh our page now it will not show up anymore an error it will just show you show you a blank page because our page is blank so from here we will we'll be seeing three blocks first block which can be the header block the body block and the footer block so basically you can delete this actually and you can you can keep as many as few as many or you can keep one block or as many blocks as you want but in this case we will keep only two blocks for now because i think this is we will just work on few things here uh, for the sake of introduction so basically what contains a, a page are a few stuff like i text text information text element where you can write here hello beginner this is where you can pro you can provide text information so there there are many ways you can uh, modify or edit the elements this this particular element which you can see in this right right panel here but for now we will skip this part we will we will discuss this further in the ne next videos so here i will just i will just try to familiarize you with the with the basic content of a website page so the next is, next will be a, an image an image file so so i used this builder earlier so i already uploaded have already uploaded one image file here but in case if you have not yet you don't have a an image in your because your account is new so you would have to browse your computer you must click this part here and then look for the page so again i will maybe i will crop this i will try to upload this image file here and then it will show up a region or a select region a selection region you will have to select you have to just you have to stretch it so that the whole region will be inside the selection if not if you keep if only portion of that you have selected then some uh, the other portion will be omitted so and we don't want that in this case so we will we will enclose the whole figure image so confirm and then wait for a few seconds and here is our image image uh, image element so you can stretch it if you click the one of the edges here corners so if you click it hold you hold click it and then drag it outward or inward that is how you stretch or 
Let's rate an image. Save it again and let's refresh this page. So here, the page has updated. It's been updated. So lastly, we will also include the third element would be a video element. So this is a video, just like an image. You can stretch this. Uh, you can stretch the corner so that it will the so that the video will be bigger. The video element will be will have a dimension, bigger dimension. So if you you can also shrink it. So what needs? So we would try to get YouTube videos here. So. So maybe we want this video here from OPS. If you are an education provider. So we will copy this URL here above. And then go back to our builder. Then click the video element. Click settings. Then control A to select all. Then control V to replace. After replacing that, we will update the setting. Setting, update setting. And then here is our video save it and then if we load it again here is our video it can be played here just so in this introduction i will i am just showing you the three how to the very the very basic of a page page of a website page it it, it, it is just a uh, as a page you can you can include or uh, you can can place a text information, an image element or a text element, an image element, and a video element. So these these are just the three of the basic elements of a, a website page or a landing page. So in the next video, we will discuss of how to to um, improve this or to, to learn more uh, features of this software. Thank you and see you in the next video.